Let's talk about Jack, your boyfriend. Uh, yes, he's adorable. He really so is. So he's, he's got two bands. He's got Bleachers and he's got Fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've been together for about three years now. And, there he is. And y'all yeah. are adorable together. That's the time he wore flip-flops to a Golden Globes party. I well, loved it. <laughs> I loved it. We've yep. been together, yeah, for almost years. four years. Uh, four years. And and you said, which I thought was very admirable, that you would not get married until it was legal for everyone to get married. And now, where's your ring? Because it's now legal for everybody. Just... No, this is something that my friend Sophie made for me, yeah. which is beautiful. It is beautiful. Thank you. So now, what's the, what's the... So, it was funny. The day that gay marriage became legal across this country... Yay! <laughs> We were thrilled, we were celebrating, and then suddenly the text just started coming from our friends, from our mothers, from our exercise instructors being like, finally, it's your time. And we kind of looked at each other and we were like, oh God, what have we done? So then- We, we didn't think this would ever be legal. No. <laughs> we were hiding behind fake liberal ideals. No, we clearly, we were like, those were our beliefs, but then we were like, we're not gonna suddenly just get engaged because it became legal. Like, we better wait for a moment when we feel excited about this. And I'm excited to marry him at some point, but it felt like a lot of pressure to just go for it that day. And, um, and then I did start to ask, I was like, are there a lot of heterosexuals using this as an excuse right. to avoid commitment? Yes. And I think the answer is yes. I do too. <laughs> because, I mean, you know, we own a dog together, we have a home together, but the marriage thing is a big deal. And I also have to say, like, I feel intimidated because I don't want to, um, you know, espouse any stereotypes, but gay people are kind of killing it at weddings right now. They're <laughs> kind of winning at weddings, yeah. so. I don't want to go in and just pale in comparison to all these. You'd have a cool wedding, though. You'd have an amazing wedding. I hope so. Yes. I'm, I have a lot of big ideas, which I share with Jack as he's falling asleep. And he goes, <laughs> maybe you can talk about it tomorrow or in five or six years. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's before that. But I'd like I'd, that. Yeah, I think that. I'd like that. But I'm also, I'm not going to put pressure on him. Is I'm this just... one of the times you're talking to him? <laughs> <laughs> he said to me, I said something about one time I was like, if you ever broke up with me, don't just like go out with like another like chatty female comedian. And he's like, are you kidding? If I broke, if you broke up with me, I'd start dating someone who didn't speak English because I'd like to get a word in edgewise. <laughs> so anyone who speaks no English, that's what he's well, looking for. Well, they couldn't understand you because they don't speak English. So yeah. <laughs> they, they, so don't, they even don't even know, know about that offer right now. That's his only right. requirement.